So I know I'm a bit late on this topic, but I wanted to discuss it anyway. For the past couple of years now, Anime NYC has just been in some negative press. If you don't know, their most recent ticket prices are very questionable. So if you look right here, Anime NYC pricing, I'm going to focus on the after freeze prices because that is truly what you're paying for. So if you wanted to go, let's say the normal three days, right? That's typically what most people do. Some people just go Friday or Saturday, but I, I digress. We're going to look at the three day, which is $157 for three days at a convention. But what's getting everyone completely up in arms Besides this very high three-day convention price, I know Anime NYC is one of the top premier most packed cons for anime, but the Anime NYC Plus badge is almost $500. That, to me, is is a little bit too overpriced no matter what they're offering, but but Juby, Juby, they could be offering something really, really good. Let's see what they're offering for this four hundred seventy-five dollar price tag. Okay, you're right. Let's let's look at it. Anime NYC Plus badges. You asked for it, and we listen. That does that doesn't bode well for this. That it says you asked for it, and then it's nearly five hundred dollars. New for this year is our limited edition Anime NYC Plus badge, where you get a private lounge expedited entrance, first access to show floor, ability to reserve one seat in one main stage panel of your choice, early access to purchase select special event tickets, 2023 Anime NYC pin, 2023 Anime NYC lanyard, and more. I'm not even going to include the and more in here because it's probably just like maybe if that a shirt or some other type of like swag but looking at this no that is not worth five hundred dollars i'm sorry katsu is one of the cons i've been to that i've had vip and they had also a private lounge and that lounge was not great so i can't expect this one to be honestly any better i'm gonna be honest with you i could be wrong but if you want to take your five hundred dollar chance feel free to prove me wrong in the comments in november i mean feel free to. Expedited entrance. I'm guessing that's just you get into the con quicker, which okay, but is that really worth 500? First access to show floor. Okay. The the ability to reserve one seat in one mage stage panel of your choice is what's really getting me. Only one? If I'm paying $500, it should be the entire weekend that I get to reserve my seat. And then, of course, early access to purchase select special event tickets, of, of course. That's probably like $2 of value right there. I'm going to bring up some of the past couple years, I would say 2021 and 2022. I'm going to quickly go over this. My friend Weak Knees made a very great video on this last year, I believe. I will link it down in the description. And I asked him to write this section to give his thoughts on the past controversy since he's researched it. So I will be reading what he told me. Anime NYC 2021 was a disaster, with the worst being a registration line that was hours long on Saturday and the spread of COVID's Omicron variant. And with a full year of preparation, how did they try and improve Anime NYC 2022? By limiting the admission of Anime NYC to a maximum of 19,500 a day, that total possible admission of all three days combined to 48,700. Yet Anime NYC's Wikipedia page states the estimated admission was 55,000, which is nearly 7,000 more than the maximum available admission. So I'm not sure where the extra 7,000 estimated people came from, but if you're limiting the admission, then I feel like you should have a pretty good understanding of how many people are attending. I'm not here to call out the math skills of whoever estimated Anime NYC's attendance. I'm here to call out how bad their problem-solving skills for 2022 were. Anime NYC does not use the entirety of the convention center they are located in. So there was more available space for Anime NYC to use, but they did not use it. Anime NYC said they underestimated the amount of attendees who would attend the convention. 
But I feel like people selling the tickets should have a decent grasp on how many people will attend. Anime NYC even talked about being able to solve this issue in less than 24 hours, but given a whole 365 days, they weren't able to come up with a better idea than just limit attendance. So even with the disasters that occurred during Anime NYC 2021 and Anime NYC saying that they had already fixed these issues, the days after they happened, and on the days they actually occurred, they decided to further fix these issues by limiting the attendance. So yes, between 2021 having a COVID problem, 2022 having an attendance problem, they further solved the attendance problem by skyrocketing the prices. I'm gonna say that's not why they skyrocketed the price. I have a response that they put on Instagram to justify why the prices were so high this year, but we'll get to it after we read some threads on whether Anime NYC is even worth it to go. So this one's from Stardust underscore Megu. My thoughts with Anime NYC. I've been going to Anime NYC since its first year. I go every year. It's my home con. I was very excited that we're having an anime convention here in NYC after NYAF was gone and was absorbed by NYCC. The first few years of Anime NYC were amazing. In my opinion, 2019 was the best year. In those first three years, I didn't buy a badge and had a panelist badge, but three-day badges were under 70 bucks. You can get one even a week before the con. Along with industry panels, there were also many fan panels, which I thought was great. Less crowds and attendees were actually friendly. One of the best things that made me really love the con was the organizers actually listened to the attendees and genuinely cared about our thoughts as I mentioned. 2019 was its best, 2017 and 18 were amazing. Then I noticed that since the pandemic, Anime NYC is slowly losing its spark. The line fiasco in 2021 was shocking. I didn't expect Anime NYC to fumble so badly when they usually had their together. Folks were freezing because it's November, plus the Javits Center is by the river, which made it worse. Folks with accessibility needs got screwed over. I will give them credit. In the next year, 2022, they did improve the lines. In the past two years, there's way more industry panels than fan ones. The con has definitely gotten bigger and more crowds, which is expected. Also, some of the attendees and the vibes were so rude and disrespectful. It's not like how it was back in the early years. The guests and perks that they have now are fine, but it wasn't like how it was before. And I'm, I've been going every year since the first year. I went to both Anime NYC and NYCC, another con that I've also been attending for years last year. And NYCC was actually better than Anime NYC. And that says a lot because NYCC usually fumbles every year and we always made fun of them, but they actually had their together. They even had a ton of anime stuff, which I was really surprised. I'm going to assume that the price increase might be due to the venue cost. There's not that many cons at NYC. One of the reasons is the venues here to rent for events are expensive. I hope that money is used to rent up the whole Javits Center this time, not just parts of it. I'm hoping that they're getting some incredible guests too. But if it's the same as the last two years, then yeah, it won't be worth it. I probably might only attend this year if I get accepted to a panel or attend just one day. Despite the hiccups, I always had a great time at Anime NYC, meeting friends, making new ones, and seeing folks who follow me come up and say that they love my cosplays and got inspired. The first few years vibes reminded me of the time when I first started going to cons and cosplaying, but things definitely shifted. I do feel like Anime NYC is declining, that Anime NYC Plus badge is definitely not worth the price. Whatever that they're planning for the con to spike up those prices better be worth it. It's really sad to see because Anime NYC is my home con and one of my favorite cons. It was doing excellent. I was rooting for them so hard, but now it's fumbling. Now we're just going to have to wait and see with their upcoming announcements. I mean, if you just compare 2021's price, the weekend ticket was $70. Pretty big spike, let's be honest. So Anime NYC did put this out on their Instagram story. Why are badges more expensive this year? In six years, Anime NYC has grown into one of the largest conventions in the U.S. Despite this growth, we tried to keep increases to our badge prices limited previously, but given the cost to run the current size of the show and increased costs from partners, Anime NYC needed to adjust our badge prices. New York City is the most expensive city in the U.S., and we had to increase our price to manage the current expenses to create the event. 
And while Anime NYC is more expensive, we are very aware of the pricing of other Comic Cons and Anime Cons in other major cities. And Anime NYC's 2023 pricing is comparable to these similar events. We will always try to keep Anime NYC as affordable as possible. Now, they say it's comparable to other cons. Well, let's let's fact check that one. The arguably the largest anime convention is Anime Expo, I would say, and they have a 4-day badge which is $145, which in LA 4 days, I'd say that's more on par to what it should be. We'll see in further examples, uh Otakon gets brought up a lot. I've personally been to Otakon and Right now, it's $75 for the full weekend, but it goes up to only $95 the further the dates go down to registration, which is still less than Anime NYC. Another major con that I know about is AWA, or Anime Weekend Atlanta, $85 or $95. Another con I've heard thrown in there is Anime Boston, which goes up to $105, which is still cheaper. I mean, you can nitpick and say that, oh, they're close in price, but... I think anything over 100 is usually where people are getting pretty wary about con prices. So let's go to Reddit where Anime NYC has its own subreddit and see what people are saying there. I'm also upset about the prices. At first, I was happy about the tickets being announced, but the prices are ridiculous. I did hear a rumor from someone about why the prices would go up, but they already cut the budget last year for this year. NYCC is more popular than Anime NYC. But there isn't really a reason why Anime NYC should cost more than NYCC. Hopefully we get an explanation soon, but if it's just expensive for the hell of it, I'm going to reconsider going is all. Javits definitely gets more expensive every year because NYCC prices keep going up too. And with this getting like 50k people compared to NYCC's 150k, it doesn't surprise me it's around the same price. And although they don't rent the entire place like NYCC, a con a third the size, without the sponsors, something like NYCC gets catered only to anime and it's and in one of the most expensive places in the country, it's probably a lot harder to afford the Javits Center. Maybe they should find a cheaper location. Putting the fact that I'm most likely still going to buy passes because this and NYCC may be the only cons I go to for this year aside, in my honest opinion, this is kind of crazy. I was expecting a price increase, but not by this much. They posted the totals lower as you scroll, and with all the fees and everything added, we're looking at nearly around $150 for a normal three-day price. Even the three-day plus is ridiculous. Damn near $500 with fees. Sheesh. And people are saying there's rumored where they're going to use more of the Javits Center. If you think $129 for an anime convention in New York City is expensive, Otakon in DC has already hit the $100 mark. Anime Boston and Kineticon, as, some, as someone had previously mentioned, are pushing $100 in Boston and Hartford, respectively. I'm sure NYCC will jack up their prices for October. New York City ain't cheap, and I'm saying this as a lifelong resident. Hi, native New Yorker here and definitely not worth that much. This year's prices are insane for what? I've been going for years and this year is a big no for me. You don't even know who's going to be there. The panels are special guests. I'm sorry, but good luck if you do. It became extremely corporatized and lacks activity and community. Is this a case of inflation just naturally running its course through anime conventions and Anime NYC just happens to be the first victim? Or is this truly overpricing for an anime con? Let me know down in the comments whether you're going to Anime NYC or whether you think these prices are too much even for inflation. I want to know all your thoughts down in the comments. I read every single one. And if you want to see more anime related content on this channel, I do it all the time here. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. And if you did like this video, give it a big ol' like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you for the next video.